So uh, the fellow's just checking my intentions and what the hell I'm doing here. I mean, to be fair, Rosie, she doesn't look too much like a gang pad, does she? No. Christ, I must be, I'd be the gayest gang member in town, I reckon. Not that I'm gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Fucking hell, shut up. Dangerous ground. Okay. Kia ora, guys. Welcome back to New Zealand. You've joined me on a bit of a strange morning, actually. It's round about 12.30 in the afternoon now. And 2.30 a.m. or so, we had a, a pretty sizable earthquake off the east coast, 7.1, which is, which is a, a big, big old shake. I didn't feel a thing. I, honest to God, I'd never, never felt a thing. And, and I'm a bad sleeper, but I never felt a thing last night. Uh, but apparently people I spoke to said it was a hell of a, hell of a go. Since then, we've had a, a series of smaller earthquakes associated with this one. And then, completely separate to that event, we've had a, a big quake off the Kermitic Islands. Uh, that was in excess of eight, I, I believe, on the Richter scale, and that's a, that's a big, big shake. Uh, and we, we are expecting another earthquake of the same or slightly higher magnitude, apparently. That's the way they work. There has been a tsunami warning. Uh, I think that's just about faded now. I'm at the top of a hill off the coast, uh, just just staying safe for the moment. I've got a, a job to do today, which I'm absolutely I'm buzzing about it. There is a, 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 a guy contacted me, at an old traditional cricket club, and they've, they've hired or been loaned this cricket ground, which belongs to one of the local landowners, and it is, it is right on the beach, and it is, I've just been down for a quick check, and I've scored back up the hill in case, uh, but I'm quite safe. Everybody says that, famous last words. Uh, but it's, it, it's absolutely, it's a gorgeous little ground. So, so I'm buzzing. I'm looking forward to shooting that. That kicks off in about an hour's time. So I've, I've got a little bit of time just to stay at the top of the hill and maybe have a coffee and just chill out and just wait. Wait for the all clear, really. That's what we're waiting for. Uh, from, the, from the government, the advisors, civil defence, they're going to tell us that the all clear is, has, been, has been given and we can head back down to the beach and, and just, just be careful, monitor things. Uh, so that's that's it stands at the moment but while i'm up here just along the coast out to sea we've got something called bear island timotu and maui i think that's the maori name for it the 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 island of maui i believe that's what it's called and, it, and it's beautiful it's the, the european name is bear island because this side of the island it's just bare there's no vegetation whatsoever i've been to the far side of the island a few times and it is just it's lush and green and verdant it's it's what a contrast. But from here, just where I've parked in, and it's, it's, it's just purely by chance, I've just parked up the hill, looked out to the sea, and it is, oh, it is gorgeous. It is stunning. We've got a crystal clear blue day, very harsh light. I'm shooting the cricket match down there. It's gonna maybe finish, if it all goes to plan, it'll finish 6.30, 7 o'clock tonight, which will be just around about on, on last light, hitting the, hitting the Golden Hills and the, uh, the, island, on, the island off to sea. So that is going to be the target for my photograph tonight. And I, 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 whew, I can't wait. I think it's going to be an absolutely Bobby Dazzler. So guys, until later on, that is it. It's just uh, cricket, avoid tsunamis, avoid another big earthquake. And if it is a big earthquake, try and feel it. I mean, geez, it kind of a bit of a waste, really. It just wasted on me, that one completely. From the Shaky Isles, catch you later. So guys, it's round about... 5:45 p.m. The match is finished. It was a great, it was a really enjoyable match to shoot. Actually, beautiful location. It's real windy up here at the moment. Cracking wee match to photograph. I really enjoyed it. Made some nice stills there. Got back to the top of the hill. Unfortunately, as the the afternoon's rolled on, the clouds have rolled in, and it's uh, a little bit overcast now. It looks quite mucky and quite murky. There's blue skies beyond the island, but. Uh, Behind me where the sun is going to be setting, it's just murky, cloudy, a bit messy really. And this shot, to be honest, if there's no light on that scene, this shot's a nothing. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to sit tight for a little while and just see, hope, we get some sunshine. Just enough to light up these near hills would be nice. And if not that, Bear Island on the horizon, that would be fantastic. That is more or less the shot I'm hoping for. Ideal world. We'll get light on the foreground and light on Bear Island. But then again, if the foreground is not in light, but Bear Island is glowing beautifully in light, Bear Island, as the subject, is going to stand out like, uh, like the proverbial 
The lens and camera combination I'm using today for this shot is going to be the Nikon D3S. She's an old, she's an old beast of a camera. Never misses a shot with this thing. And the Nikon 200 to 500 f5.6. This is actually a bloody good lens. I bought it initially just to shoot, shoot my kids' cricket and things like that because it's uh, it's a damn sight lighter than the old cricket lens I used to have. And that from there, guys, is looking pretty cushy actually. Just need some light, need some light on that scene, uh, but it'll come, it'll come. I'm going to shoot this at the 200 millimeter focal length just because I, I really do want to get these these foreground hills, the curvature of the hills in there, just the corners and then the, the bared island poking up in the middle. And it, it looks quite nice actually. So windy, so bloody windy. Now I need a monopod. I'm gonna stick the lens on a monopod. There's no need there's no need at all to use the tripod today for this shot. Now what I want to do as well, I want to sort of I want to crouch down a little bit because I don't want too much ocean in this shot really. I want some foreground interest which is going to be the near hills. I want a little bit of ocean to show a bit of context and I want Baird Island bathed in golden light. At the moment that's not happening. I see a little bit of golden light on the far hills so maybe if it stretches over to the island that would be pretty handy. Just time guys, it's just a matter of time will happen okay and uh, then the good news the good news this late in the day we've had no more oh that looks stunning actually that looks gorgeous uh, no more sizable earthquakes and we've had no more tsunami warnings when i say we've had no earthquakes i've not actually checked geonet normally when you have a decent size earthquake you get a plethora a plethora well, that's a good word you get a lot a plethora of, uh, of smaller shakes aftershocks if you will is it cold am i feeling cold i don't know it's just going to be the old lumberjack shirt which might be a pain in the ass actually blowing about now, i've just taken a shot with no light on the scene whatsoever just to give you a comparison shot i'll post that now and it's it's crap absolutely crap now at the minute we've got some foreground light on the near hills on the near grass hill and that looks quite nice there's a little bit of light on the further hill but there's no light whatsoever not a not a not a skerica light at all on the island so uh although the shot looks nice with a little bit of light on there uh it's it's not actually where i want it so uh hmm it's all right it's all right it's it's playing i'll tell you what actually that's quite a nice shot that's a lovely shot actually I've got some light on the far island, on the far hill, no light anywhere else. But it looks good, it looks really nice. I like that. Uh, I do like that. So, although it's not the shot I was fancying, it looks pretty cool. If we could get some light on Bear Island now, as well, that would be, uh, that would be very, very welcome. The light's gone again, so, at the minute, it's it's quite elusive, quite evasive. Evasive. It is. It's evasive. It's avoiding me. So I'm just going to I'm going to stick the smaller lens on. 28 mil is far too far away. Bring it to 70 mil, and that's yeah, yeah. And that's not really doing much for me. To be fair, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I'm I'm saying this when there's absolutely no light on the no light on the scene at all so maybe the 70 millimeter focal length will grow on me but at the minute it's not it's pretty yeah, it's pretty pretty pants at the minute so back on with a 200 and we're just waiting 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 hey mate how you doing good, mate. yeah good mate ah oh, back down to hastings next I've just been down to Andy's to shoot some uh, some cricket. They've had a cricket match on down there, oh, good, so I'm just, I'm just on my way back. It's good, permission. good to be checking. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just fucking sick of it, man. I'm chasing fucking mongrel mob and everything Is out that here. Right? Oh, he's got a hanky panky going on, eh? So you Is know, that right? just keeping it. Yeah, all yeah, fair enough, mate. I've not got my swastika sticker on my cheek, oh, so you're yeah. all right. No, 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 it's all good, mate. Sweet as, mate. Good luck with the mob.
Chris rode them on his private private property, obviously, and uh, the fella there checking who I was and what I was up to. They uh, they've been having problems with the the local mongrel mob, which are a they're a gang for one thing. Well, they are a gang. They're a gang, yeah, an organised gang, criminal gang, organised gang, whatever. So uh, the fellow's just checking my intentions and what the hell I'm doing here. I mean, to be fair, Rosie. She doesn't look too much like a gang pad, does she? No. Christ, I must be... I'd be the gayest gang member in town, I reckon. Not that I'm gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Fucking hell, shut up. Dangerous ground. Okay. We're just getting a smidge of light again on Bear Island. On Bear Island's Maori name, I thought it was Tomotu or Maui. It's not. It's Tomotu or Kura, which means Island of Kura. Now, in Maori... In Maori legend, Kura was a woman who in times of siege used to dive down into the island and uh, drag up fresh water from the aquifer below the island, apparently. So there you go. Guys, I've got the shot. I've got the shot that I was hoping for. We've got golden golden slopes of the near hills creating a creating a V and then we've got Bear Island stood prominently proudly on the horizon and it's just oh it is it is tasty it is gorgeous well we've got a bit of light on there I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swap lenses over and just stick the old 70 mil on just to get a little bit more of this foreground in I'm looking at it now as I am Nah, nah, flag that. Flag this shot with a 200 mil on is beautiful. It is so nice. Now while I'm at it as well, I did say I was going to pull, pull the island into 500 mil, which at 500 mil, I still get a small part of these near hills in the shot. And they just kind of anchor it. They do anchor it. So look at that. Tell you what, I'll tell you what. My God, at that, at that focal length, 500 mil, it looks nice. Looks gloriously nice. All right, this has turned into a nice little shoot, actually. Uh, light's just starting to go again. We've still got a bit of light on Bear Island. Timotu Okura. I've got a better shot than I could have hoped for, actually. And the sun's just about to dip away again. I think that's my batter. From uh, a beautiful New Zealand earthquake three today, or this afternoon. All the best from New Zealand. Kaki Teano.